The last spline modeling technique I'm going to share with you is the sweep modifier. And it is a method for converting a line or editable spline into 3D geometry to create tubular structures. It's better in some cases than simply making the line renderable because we can have a custom profile to the sweep. For example, we can have chamfered edges and so on, or we can have interesting shapes to the extruded or swept surface. A perfect application of the sweep modifier is the staircase handrail here. I've constructed a line object. Let's take a look at that, select it, get in close, and go into segment mode. And I've created some straight line segments here. And they're not even really joined. That's not important. Like this segment here isn't really connected to the other segments. It's just there kind of touching the other segment. I can show you what I'm talking about. If I move this over, there's no vertex here. All right, so I'll undo that. So it doesn't need to be clean. It doesn't need to be all welded tight. We're just going to use these segments to generate a sweep. And additionally, I want to show you that you can clone sub-objects. I've only got one handrail here, but I obviously need one on the other side too. I can just duplicate those all at once in the same way that I would with objects. Go over to the top viewport and maximize that view with Alt-W. And I'm in segment sub-object mode. I can be in spline sub-object mode too. It doesn't matter which. Drag a big rectangle around all of that. And I've selected them. And then just like you're cloning an object, you can clone sub-objects. Simply hold down the Shift key and then use the Move tool. Drag that over. And then just release the mouse. And now we've got a duplicate of that. Go back out to our four viewport layout with Alt-W. And I've created a clone. And I've done it at the sub-object level. These are not two separate objects. They're splines within the same spline object. Cool, so we can exit out of sub-object mode and then add our sweep modifier. Make that big with Alt-W. Go to the modifier list, scroll down. You're looking for sweep. Here it is. And we got something right off the bat. Let's play around with some of the parameters here. We've got different built-in sections. You can play around with those and see what they do. We can see that they're gonna create different shapes. We've got an angle bracket, we've got a cylinder and a T shape and so on. What I want is just a straight up bar and then scroll down a bit into the parameters, make it smaller. I'll give it two inches by two inches. And then here's the magic. We can give it a bevel or a chamfer here by adjusting that corner radius. Let's get in real close and turn on the edge faces with F4 and then play around with that corner radius, just increase that a little bit. We can see we're getting a chamfered edge. I'm actually gonna set it to a quarter inch or 0 0.25 inches. And we've got our staircase handle. Pretty great. You could use the sweep modifier for doing all sorts of things, including, for example, molding by putting in your own custom spline profile. Because in addition to the built-in sections here, you could create a separate spline object and then use this custom section option and pick that spline object and sweep that spline along the curve to, for example, create molding or many different kinds of extruded shapes. All right, very cool. So that's a chapter all about spline modeling in 3ds Max.